maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about the Hi guys. So things in my life have been pretty chaotic recently and Things have just not been going how I wanted them to be, which is why there's been a little bit of a lull on the channel for a while. Just, yeah, things have come up, personal things, and it's just taken me a while to get back into the mood of books and reading and booktube. However, saying all that, I am okay, I'm fine, I just needed some time away from it all, and now I'm back and I'm gonna be doing more regular updates and books and stuff again so yeah I'm looking forward to it. Also thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to me recently. I'm nearly at 450 subscribers it's crazy to me to think. I don't even know what I'll do if I get any higher than that so <laughs> thank you guys so much just yeah from the bottom of my heart because it's you guys who are keeping me motivated and wanting to do this even though times are hard at the moment and stuff is hard to cope with and deal with and yeah, I just, I wanted to thank you guys, so sorry that that was a little bit rambly, but now I'm going to be doing the wrap up for this month, which is July. I had planned to read a fair amount of books in July, I had loads of ideas that I showed you guys, and you guys picked out some that you thought I would actually enjoy and thought that would be really fun. So let's just have a look what I actually ended up reading. So in July I managed to read eight books, which was pretty good considering that the last week has been pretty awful for me, and I have done no reading whatsoever really. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of it, and let's just get started and let me show you guys what I read. So first I ended up reading Vampire Academy, which is book number one in the series, and this is by Rochelle Mead. I read this right at the very start of July, I finished it on the first day, very easy to get through and I just thought it was a really entertaining and funny series, I definitely want to continue on. And I ended up giving this one a 3 out of 5 star rating, so definitely worth picking up if you like YA and vampires and things like that. Next I read book one in the Rangers Apprentice series, which is another kids series. I have been starting quite a few kids series recently and I'm really enjoying kids fiction. And this is The Ruins of Gorlan, which is by John Flanagan, which is book number one. And I actually loved this book. I thought it was so much fun. It was so entertaining. It was witty. It was charming. It was just a sweet read and it made me feel happy reading it. And that's the thing that is quite difficult to get across sometimes from fantasy books. Like sometimes you just feel like it's a bit of a slog. With this I didn't because it was so light, so fun, and I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 star rating. I'm definitely going to be continuing on with this series very very soon and I'm highly excited to. So yeah. Next I read The Disappeared which is by CJ Harper. This book I wasn't really sure what it was about at all when I began it. I really had no idea. I hadn't really heard anything much about it but I just picked it up on a whim and it was really good, like a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It did take me a little while to get into it all and sort of figure out who everyone was and what all the systems of the society were and as soon as I grasped that I just felt like it was a really fun read and definitely a good YA. So this one again I gave 4 out of 5 stars. Next I picked up Shadows Beneath which is an anthology which was edited together by Brandon Sanderson but actually has four different authors who have contributed including Sanderson. That's the main reason I bought it. I was astounded by how much I loved this anthology because the stories themselves did not captivate my attention as much as I would have liked except for Sanderson's which I thought was amazing but the way it was conceived, the way it was laid out and the way that everything came together it's a really interesting concept for a book and it's really quite bizarre but just so interesting to see the behind the scenes of everything and I would highly highly recommend this book to you guys if you're a writer, if you're writing a story, if you want to know more about the writing process of authors or if you're just a bit nosy like me and you just want to see behind the scenes of the authors and what they get up to when they write their stories and plan their stories so highly recommended and this one I gave four out of five stars purely for the fact that I didn't like all of the stories as much as Sanderson's which was amazing so yeah it could have been higher if all of the stories had been really interesting, it would definitely have been a 5 star rating then. 
Moving on, I then read The Unauthorised Autobiography, which is another children's book. I've actually read a few children's books this month. This one is by Lemony Snicket, and it's kind of companion novel to the series of Unfortunate Events books, which are over here. I struggled a little bit with this because I did enjoy it, and I definitely felt like it was a good book to be a companion. It was definitely interesting. It raised some really exciting questions, and it just made you think more about the series. And I really enjoyed reliving the world and just remembering everything. But I feel like because I read the series such a long time ago, I just didn't remember enough of it. I didn't remember enough to get all of the little hints that were dropped in this. This one does have illustrations, which is a really cool thing to have in books. I think it's just so much fun. And so on the whole, I gave this one a 3 out of 5 star rating. I did enjoy it, but I definitely felt like you need to read the series and then go straight onto this rather than have a gap of years and years and then pick this up. But it was really cool and it definitely made me want to reread the whole series. So maybe I'll do it one day, I don't know when. <laughs> I then picked up the Booksplosion book of the month, which was The Warrior Air, and this is by Cinder Williams Chima. I was really hoping that I was going to enjoy this. I thought it was going to be really interesting because it was the first fantasy book that has been chosen for Booksplosion, and I just I really wanted to love it but I didn't. It wasn't my thing. It was definitely a lot less interesting to me than high fantasy because it was more of a kind of magic in the real world situation and that's okay but I much prefer a crafted world, a world that's different, a world that has something more unique and exciting about it than just being our regular world and so for me the fact that it was all set in the normal world and there was just magic thrown in it kind of felt a little bit non-believable and I didn't feel like the characters were developed enough and I just didn't really connect on a level with them so that was a shame and I regret that I didn't enjoy it more. I probably just set my sights too high and didn't really give it enough of a chance. For a YA fantasy I feel like there are better fantasies out there and this just didn't cut it for me. So this one I only gave 2 out of 5 stars which was a bit of a shame and a bit of a disappointment but Oh well, at least I can say I've read it. I won't be carrying on with the series, but I do have the other series by Cinder Williams Chima, which is, I believe, this series, the Seven Realms trilogy, and I did start this book a while back, and I actually really enjoyed it. I don't really remember why I ended up putting it down. I guess something else just kind of got in the way, but I will be carrying on with this and eventually seeing if I like this series more, so I feel like this will be a better one for me by that author. So yeah, I do have that book still, so I'm not giving up on the author, just that series. I also picked up in the month of July Red Rising, which is by Pierce Brown. This I wouldn't class as a YA or an adult story, it's kind of a mix of both. I definitely think it's for older teenagers because there's a lot of violence and things like that. It's a sci-fi story, it's set in space and it's got all these really cool machines and things like that, so it's definitely more for sci-fi than fantasy. But I really enjoyed it once I got into it. It took a little while for me to to get into it and really accept all the different terminology that was used because a lot of it is made up to kind of give you context of the world but once I got into it I felt like it was a really interesting narrative and it definitely took a turn in the middle where I wasn't expecting it to which was really cool and I really enjoyed that so yeah highly recommend this actually and I definitely want to carry on with this series and I ended up giving it a four out of five stars I thought that the next book was out Golden Sun I believe it is I'll put a picture but it's not out yet I believe it comes out in January of next year so when that comes out I will be picking it up and continuing because this is a really cool series now that I'm into it and it definitely has echoes of like dystopian and hunger games and things like that so if you like that sort of thing I'm sure you will enjoy this but as I say it's got a lot of graphic violence and things too so if you don't like that then don't pick this up. Next I read The Fires of Heaven which is book number five in the Wheel of Time series this series is one that I have been meaning for ages to catch up on and get into again. I think I read books 1, 2 and 3 in 2012 and book 4 in 2013, but that was right at the beginning of 2013, like a long time before I started this channel, and I couldn't really remember so much about it when I began this, but I really enjoyed the story, I thought it was really fun, and I definitely 
want to carry on with this series now that I'm back into it. I actually got the audiobook on Audible which I just recently joined and that was a really cool way to read and listen because actually it helped me pronounce all the names for a start but it was also just a really fun way of doing things. Even though it was 36 hours long I didn't listen to it all, I just kind of dipped in and out of reading and listening. But it was a really nice way of listening to things when I was tired and couldn't keep my eyes open because I read this for the majority of the Booktubeathon and it was a heavy read for the Booktubeathon. It was not an easy one to get through but I'm really really glad and proud of myself that I did. And this book I ended up giving a 4.5 star rating because I really enjoyed it and I really like being back in the world and I think this is one of the better books in the series so Again, highly recommended if you like this series. My next book that I ended up reading was The Hundred Year Old Man by Jonas Jonathan. This is a contemporary and very entertaining and funny story about a hundred year old man who climbs out of a window one day and ends up getting into all sorts of quite hysterical trouble. It switches between present day narrative of what he's getting up to and also historical snippets of his life and what he did and how he's had a very interesting life, let's just say that. But it was definitely an interesting story, it was definitely quirky, it was funny, and this book was chosen as part of my book group, which I have started with two of my friends. You're welcome to join it if you want, I'll put the link down below. And it's just a group that we decide books for each other to read that perhaps we wouldn't always normally pick up, and I would probably never have picked this up for a long, long time if she hadn't recommended it. So I'm, yeah, I'm excited and glad that I did, and I won't be probably continuing with this author because it's not really my scene but it's definitely worth the read and I would definitely not discount it because it's a contemporary if you like fantasy because it is witty and funny and entertaining and I ended up giving it a four star rating so it's good. And the final book that I ended up reading in the month of July was Blood Song which is by Anthony Ryan. Oh my god, I'm so glad that I read this. Melissa, thank you so much for saying that this was so good because I genuinely really enjoyed it and I am so happy that you made such a big deal out of how good it was because otherwise it would have slipped down my TBR and it didn't and it's amazing. So thank you very much for that. I fell in love with this author instantly. I just could tell from the end of chapter one that this was going to be a good book. This was interesting, it was unique, it was something cool and quirky. It has hints of Patrick Rothfuss, it has hints of George R. R. Martin and it has hints of Sanderson. It's got all of them kind of blended into one. The writing style was really fluid, really easy to get through but it was just so action-packed, so much happened, it was so exciting, there was never a dull point where I didn't want to read this book, and I loved it, and I would definitely recommend this series to you guys. I am 100% saying now that Anthony Ryan is another favourite of mine, and I'm so glad that I can add him onto the list of authors who I really, really enjoy reading. And yeah, it was just wonderful. So obviously I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, and I just cannot rave more about it. It's so good, and so exciting, so highly recommend this to you guys and I hope that you will all pick this up because it's such a good book and I definitely would recommend you going to watch my review of this if you want to know more about it or the reviews of any of these books because I have done reviews of all of them so yeah definitely please go watch that and you will just hear me gush on and on about it because it's so good and I loved it. So I would love to hear what you guys have read in the month of July. If you want to link me your videos down below I'd love to go watch them and I would just like to thank you all again because as I said this last week for me has been really tough and yeah thank you guys for being there and for asking me comments and questions and keeping me occupied and busy planning stuff for my channel instead of thinking about all the other stuff so yeah I'm really happy and I'm feeling a bit better today and things are looking up so yeah leave me your comments down below if you've read any of these books I'd love to know and what you thought of them and I will see you all very soon for my TBR video so look out for that soon bye me and you gonna have a little chat